One of the reasons why the A30MP behaves so well within curves is its electronic limited SIP differential. But this feature can be upgraded with a very simple solution for not just in terms of technical improvement, but it's also a great add-on because of its price. And I'm talking about the strut brace on the front axle, which completes the serial solution in the rear of the car. And I'm going to be installing this piece, uh, which is a handmade front strut brace in black color, made in Slovakia, which is a nice piece of art. And with this simple solution, we are connecting both sides of the suspension, which gives us added stability on the racetracks and daily driving and enriches the overall driving experience. The first few words I would like to dedicate to this intro, since this will be a longer tutorial than you are used to, but it has its reasoning. This whole video covers every essential part about DIY strut brace installation, but should be pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. So I really hope you will enjoy it. And the first step we are removing the wiper plates while maintaining their original position. At this point I'm taking advantage of my masking tape, which can be beautifully placed to read in the wiper's alignment and thus return to their original position. I removed the caps with a flat hat screwdriver and took the 40mm ratchet spinner without having to use the very brute force to loosen up the screws. Then I'm about to release a so-called color tap, which is in other words a plastic drain channel, held entirely by pairs respectively by four reusable threads, so-called retainers. You have to be very careful and patient when they are being pulled out, because they jump out very easily and can get lost beneath the deep chassis of the car, which you'll see later in the video. An essential part is also the removal of the wiper hose, where we don't have to worry about using force, we only have to pull one hose from the other. The first wiper, or the shorter wiper, is detachable when it's angled to 90 degrees, but the longer one does require brute force, so don't worry if you won't pull it out on the first try. The color top is loosened now, but snapped to the sides, so it has to be detached at those spots, so you can remove it completely. Both sides of the axle and their related washers resemble with the shape of the struts arms, which indicates their removal. Again, I had to use significant amount of force due to short ratchet arm, but for the time being, this allows me better working conditions behind the camera. The preparation of the strut is also necessary, and in our case, it is delivered with fixed arms, which have to be released before installation. You can see again that the left side is hard to release and here you can see in detail how much force you actually need to release the washers. I took the camera in my hands and just like that removed the washers on both sides. Now is the time to fit our stud into place and it falls in as it should. If you would concentrate on the very details of the screws, you would notice they are kinda of protrude. You can see there was a thread locker applied so I'm here to apply it again in a liquid form. This is one of the things you definitely want to do, so that you avoid any vibrations or unwanted noise, which is highly likely to come from this area. The first thing I want to do is to screw in the arms and then the strut itself. Normally you will use a classic crisscross pattern, but since we only have three screws at disposal, we tighten the screws gradually on both sides and after that we can screw them to the top. Screws are fixed in place and we can take the last step to tighten the strut skeleton. Since the strut gently interferes with the color top, I indicated the overlap with masking tape. Ideally you didn't want to spend a lot of time with cutting and grinding, so usage of an angle grinder saves you a lot of energy. At the first glance this intervention might seem to be complicated, but looking at the manual of the original Hyundai and carbon strut, this is truly a minor adjustment. In the case of the original part, we have to cut a few centimeters long, irregular hole on both sides, which results in unoriginal impression. Luckily, that's not our case, so let's get back to our tutorial. Coming back to the reposition of color tab, this part requires tremendous patience. Where exactly do the perimeter parts fit? As we work with very little space, it should be borne in mind that from one side we have a windshield and on the other side there is a strut that will tightly rest against the plastic edge of our color top. 
You see how I'm fixing the connection with the windshield where I try to get under the glass and not over it. Furthermore, there are plastic handles of both sides, but their clicking sounds indicate they are snapped into place. You can see in detail on the camera whether we proceeded correctly. From the left side, from the right side, lengthwise and along with the wiper holes. I originally intended to push the wipers to the very bottom, but technically it doesn't exist. So the wipers fit perfectly and automatically to their lowest position. That's why any brute force is unnecessary and you should really focus on the wipers alignment. This is how a retainer looks in practice. It has a clip mechanism that allows it to be used again and thus when one part aligns with the other, it's correctly snapped in place. Now comes the moment when my retainer bounced back and fell down underneath the front wing support, so watch out for that. But if this also happens to you, I included the exact part number in the video description below. When reconnecting the tubing, I first focus on pushing one through its dedicated rail, plug the parts together and adjusted them to the correct position. So the strut is installed, let's take a look at the result. I hope you enjoyed this unusually longer tutorial of mine and learned something new. Now you should exactly know how to install the A30 and strut brace in your home conditions and without any problems. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.